after all, the status of Suhail is not the status of Abu Bakr and Umar. It's not the status of the early converts. It's not the status of the Muhajirun. Suhail is not a Muhajir. Suhail and his group, they converted the very last batch. And Allah says in the Quran, not equal are those who converted before the conquest versus those who converted after the conquest. And Suhail converted after the conquest, right? Yet, the books of Sirah mention and the books of, of history mention that out of all of the converts who converted after the conquest, the most worship-minded was Suhail. The most salah, the most fasting, the most zakah was Suhail. And when the Prophet ﷺ died, Suhail was still in, in Mecca, and the people of Mecca, by and large, were all converts at the conquest of Mecca. Remember, the Muhajirun had to go back to Medina, right? We'll, we'll get there, but we already know this. None of the Muhajirs was allowed to live in Mecca. You already know this. They had to go back to Medina. So who's living in Mecca? It's all the people who converted a year and a half ago. You have the Abu Sufyans, you have the Suhails, you have all of these people, right? And so, many of them flirted with the idea of leaving. Khalas, the process in them is dead. Let's go back to our old ways. So much so that the Sahabi, the governor, that the Prophet ﷺ appointed to be the, 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 the ruler of Mecca, he feared for his life. And he went into hiding because commotions began. And mobs began gathering. And then the news of the Prophet ﷺ death was a traumatic time. And the, this, this governor, he felt that they're going to come and kill me. So he went into hiding. Who's the one who calmed them down? Suhail ibn Amr. Suhail ibn Amr stood in front of the Kaaba and he gave them a fiery lecture. Khatib al Quraysh. And he warned them and admonished them. And he said to them of the sentence that, that has been recorded O people of Mecca, look at how eloquent this phrase is. Do not be the last group to convert and the first group to renegade and apostatize. How beautiful is this, right? You already have the dishonor of being the last group to convert. Now you want to add to this on your resume, the first group to leave Islam. And he played a major role in bringing them back to their senses. And he was the one who brought the governor out of his hiding and then basically uh, reinstated him. And it is also mentioned that uh, when they visited uh, Umar in the Khilaf of Umar, that Suhail and Abu Sufyan and others, they visited Umar in Medina. And when they went to the house of Umar, they found a line there. Um, you know, people are going to go see the Khalifa, right? And in that line are Bilal and uh, 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 Suhaib al-Rumi and Ibn Mas'ud and all of these that they consider to be low. And when the secretary comes out and he sees all the people there, so he calls number one in line is Bilal ibn Abi Rabah. And then he calls the other Badriyun, one after the other. And Abu Sufyan says to Suhail, I have never seen a day like this before. We are here. And we are, I mean, you have to realize who were these people, right? This is, if Quraysh had kings, these are the kings of Quraysh. These are the MPs of Quraysh, right? And who is Bilal and who, is, who are these other people? So Abu Sufyan says, I have never seen, and they're all now Muslim, but still, you know, it takes a while to, 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 to get to that stage. So Abu Sufyan says that, I have never seen a day like this. We are here. And these abid, these slaves, and these, you know, whoever they were, they have been given precedence over us. Now look at what Suhail says. And you see the iman of Suhail. SubhanAllah, where was he? Even, even in the incident of Hudaybiyah, how harsh he was, we will see. How harsh he was. But deep down inside, there was some good. And when eventually the Prophet ﷺ, and he managed to get to that good by the help of Allah, that good overwhelmed him. What did he say to Abu Sufyan? He said, I can see the anger in your faces. And there was a group from Mecca there. I can see the anger in your faces. But if you wish to be angry, then be angry at yourselves. For... They, Bilal and others, were called to Islam. And we too were called to Islam. Same time. They raced forward and we lagged behind. And the blessings that they obtained in racing forward, listen to this, 
are far more than the honor of them entering the door of Umar before us now. You understand this point, right? In the eyes of Allah, the blessings they have by having accepted Islam are much more than now they're entering the door of Umar and then we're still waiting in line. Be jealous at that good rather than the good of entering the door of Umar. Imagine now, Suhail, we really see Iman from the heart of Suhail now coming, right? And then he told them that uh, if you cannot catch up with them, the least you can do is to exert yourself in jihad fi sabilillah so that at least we can try to come close. And uh, saying this, eventually he basically signed up to join the army uh, that was fighting the Romans in Syria and he eventually died a shaheed uh, fighting in uh, Syria. And uh, again, that's an amazing story of Suhail ibn Amr. Who was he? Where was he? And now, what did he become? So out of the converts of the conquest of Mecca, Suhail is considered to be the most, or of the most, towards the most righteous and the most zahid amongst them. Now, he might...